Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have prepared for you some rustic Christmas signs. I hope you like them. For my first project, I'm going to be using this sign that actually came from the Dollar General. I already used it in one of my previous projects. That's why it is already painted. I've um, painted with a Rust-Oleum chalk paint in a linen white color. I actually um, distressed it heavily. You can see it is not completely painted and um, I like it and that's going to be perfect for this project. I'm going to be using a craft papers. Uh, the three on the right side came from Hobby Lobby and the polka dot one came from um, Joann's. And first I'm going to take a um, ruler and I am going to just create a very simple triangle uh, shaped Christmas tree. I'm going to cut it out and this is how it looks like. The next three or actually next four are going to be a little bit different um, so i'm going to start off by tracing uh, the same size triangle and then i'm going to uh, just create kind of a little slits um, in the middle you will see in, in just a second what i'm doing because i wanted my christmas tree to be a little bit different so i'm going to cut this one out and i'll show you how it looks like this is how it looks like and now the next uh, ones I'm going to make exactly the same just a little bit smaller. Now that I have all of them cut out I'm going to take my sign and just a regular uh, um, actually I'm going to uh, position them the way I want and then I will uh, take a regular school glue and I will one by one attach them to my board. Now that I have all of them attached the way I wanted, I'm taking this uh, greenery picks that I came uh, that I got actually from outside, and I am hot gluing them on the top um, of my sign, and then I'm adding these three mini pine cones just to embellish it a little bit. Next, I'm gonna do uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is just to add a jute twine that actually came from the Dollar Tree, and I will put it on the bottom of my sign, wrap it a few times. Now I will not hot glue it on the back like I usually do I will just uh, wrap it and tie it um, on the back because in case I want to use that uh, sign on the back I am not going to damage it. Now this um, project is now complete I think it's super sweet I think it's uh, versatile it's not you can make it your own you can use any craft paper that you have or you like and um, the best part is it is not only Christmas related, it can certainly transition from Christmas um, and last all throughout winter. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am Yelena. I love crafting. I love uh, making projects, inexpensive projects for my home. And if that's something that interests you and you would like to see some tutorials, please come check out my other videos. I hope you will enjoy them enough to stick around. Don't forget to click on uh, subscribe button and on notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Um, that's uh, where I am and show most of my um, daily life and uh, more projects. Now on to my second project. I'm using this wood plaque that actually came from Walmart. I used it on my previous project, uh, but I know Dollar Tree sell the same. Now I'm gonna take a uh, Rust-Oleum chalk, or actually Waverly chalk paint in a color uh, mineral, and I will, um, cover it completely. I gave it one full coat and before it was completely dried I actually took the Beverly chalk paint in a color truffle and I started um, adding it to this wood plaque. I actually started distressing it with that uh, truffle paint and because it was uh, the previous paint was not completely dried it didn't really um, distressed it it actually just blended kind of with the previous paint and i really really like um, how it turned out i think it's a really really unique technique and created a very beautiful pattern 
I did the same thing uh, all the way around the edges as well. Next, I'm taking a uh, Waverly chalk paint in the color silver lining that is a little bit lighter. And I um, kind of did the same thing, went on the top of it because I wanted this to have uh, more texture. Now I am taking uh, this leftover of the uh, Dollar Tree cookie sheet pen that I actually already had on hand and I am going to cut out five small triangles and I'm showing them over here and I'm going to position them on the top of the sign creating a mini banner. So I'm going to use a hot glue to um, hot glue them on a uh, my sign now if you're doing the same thing uh, and cutting these out be very careful they can cut you as well if you're hot gluing them uh, with a hot glue gun make sure to be careful as well because hot glue with this aluminum sheet um, it can burn you so after i was done with this i'm taking these stickers that came from the dollar tree and i am spelling out the word mary and after i position them the way i wanted just made sure to press them all down so they uh, stay in place next i am taking this wood word christmas that actually came from target dollar spot it is self-adhesive and it's perfect i just stick it on there and it stayed perfectly now i'm taking this black marker and just adding little dots on top of my banner just to um, represent kind of a little pins that held it in place now i am taking my uh, jute twine that came from the dollar tree and i am um, wrapping it a few times on the bottom. I thought this uh, looked a little bit plain, so I decided to add um, a bow. So I had this uh, red um, checkered ribbon and I made a very, very simple bow that I usually make. It is just the one that you uh, make when you tie your shoes. So after I was happy with the size and the way my um, bowl looks like, I actually um, positioned it on the top right corner and I cut off the tails. I used my hot glue to attach it. And that's it for this project. I like this sign. I think it's very pretty and very simple. I like the combination of wood and um, metal looking uh, banner i think it works really well together i want to tell uh, hear from you what do you think I want to announce that I'm going to have a Christmas break. Um, I am not going to upload any videos uh, for the whole next week, but then I'm coming back on uh, the 29th of December for a huge collaboration. And I will tell you more about it on my community page and Instagram. So please stay tuned. And for my third project, I'm using this huge craft sticks that came from Walmart. I'm going to use two of them. So, um, what I'm going to do is just cut out um, some rectangle shapes going from the smallest to the biggest and I need four of them. Uh, I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut them out. It's very simple. You just score a few times and uh, it breaks easily. After I had all four of them, um, I am going to go ahead and take the sanding block that came from the Dollar Tree and just sand the edges a little bit making sure they are smooth. When I was done with this, I'm taking one more uh, craft stick and I am going to measure how much I want to cut it using the same um, technique to cut it and um, sand it a little bit. And after that, I am going to attach that on the back of um, this future sign, right? <laughs> on, on one side of these uh, sticks. I'm using my hot glue to attach it and I wanted this craft stick to stick a little bit on the top and on the bottom as well. So when all this is glued, I am taking this uh, Beverly chalk paint in a color silver lining and I am going to go ahead and heavily distress this mini Christmas tree. Season, 
So I'm taking Beverly Chalk Mains in a color truffle and I will first start on the bottom of the Christmas tree on a stem I guess and I am going to um, paint that and then I am distressing on the rest of the tree. After I was done with that I am taking the same aluminum sheet that I already used earlier and I cut out a star and then I'm att attaching a little piece of um, craft stick that I had left over on the top just to raise that star a little bit and then I'm attaching um, the star with a hot glue. When I was done with this part I went ahead and got my um, pencil and I started writing uh, words. The first word on the top is in a capital letters and it's love. The next one is um, in a some font that I actually saw this project or actually this uh, as an ornament in one of the stores and I really wanted to recreate it as a bigger sign. So I wrote hope and then next one is peace and next one is Christmas. Now I am tracing love and peace uh, with a black marker and then uh, hope and Christmas I will trace it with a golden kind of um, looking marker. When I was done with tracing it, I uh, took a white jute wine that came from the Dollar Tree and I am wrapping it a little bit just where the stem and a Christmas tree meet. I thought it needed something extra over there to make that transition seamless. And I am also taking um, the same ribbon that I used earlier and there is this mini bow that I created and I just attach it on the bottom. And that's it for this project. I think it turned out super, super cute. I really, really like it. It was so easy to make and very, very inexpensive. I want to hear what you think. And I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. It means so much to me. And also it shows YouTube that you like it and it will promote it more. If you're new, please subscribe. I would love to have you. I have a great, a great project planned for next year. And uh, I really hope you enjoy uh, the rest of the year and uh, Christmas time with your family. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.